Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2017 Classics Football. It's a five box random division break. It's the second half of the case that we popped open a little while ago. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the divisional action. Here are the divisions right here. Let's randomize each list six times two and a four. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We've got S Man on the pole. And Jake, you are in the number eight spot. Pop that right there. And six times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And final time. NFC West on top, AFC West on the bottom after six times. So here's how it all works out here. Scott, you've got the NFC West. Mike Coster, AFC East. Scott, and uh, AFC North. Will, NFC South, and the NFC North. So we have North and South for the NFC. Connery of the NFC East. Nick Drowski, AFC South. And Jake, AFC West. Let me alphabetize this here. Sort by column B. And there you go. So I'm going to pause the video. We're going to allow for some trades. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then we will have the break. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. No trades right there in random division number eight on a Thursday good luck everybody so uh, as you can see right here I marked all these number eight so you know that they are from the same case we actually got another case of classics in recently so I'll be adding another uh, another divisional there too classics is pretty solid underrated I think and a very friendly price point as well also featuring the new 2017 rookie class What's nice, and I, I, I've said this in previous videos too, what's nice is that uh, last year, like all the different short prints and variations were not serial numbered. So we had to look at the backs of all the cards and be like, oh, there's the, there's the blank back variation. There's the red, there's the this, blah, blah, blah. And so from a breaking perspective, it added like <laughs> a lot of time to it. But now they did us a huge solid and serial numbered all of the, uh, all of the variations. So, which is nice and they updated the, the, the uh, design too and that looks the design looks nice as well so it's a pretty solid product I mean, what is it what was it 50 bucks for a random division you know do, do the math it's a pretty good deal yeah Kyle's like if you like inserts classics is for you yeah when they introduced this product last year I think uh, Jaspies were we were at the NFLPA rookie premiere, so that's where they introduced it and had us do some preview breaks and whatnot. And the 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 team at Panini specifically said, yeah, I mean we specifically included a lot of inserts and we designed this to be, you know, a product to kind of as a nod to sort of people who still enjoy like set building, building sets and whatnot. So that's why this exists and it's pretty solid, I think. All right, lead off with Vontaze Perfect. There's Travis Rudolph out of 299. So that's the red back. So put that there. Oh, you know what? I think I'll to pull up a uh, checklist too. Keep this in front of me. We'll go to this website. Go to click that link. Keep that open. All right. There's Charlie Trippy at two ninety nine. Red back. These will randomize left or right. And that should be the autograph right there. There he is, Malik Hooker, 134 out of 199. Going to the Indianapolis Colts. So that'll be for the AFC South, Nick Drowski. I'll even 
do I'll even do the shipping team a favor. Mark all these. Although we have a, we have a cheat sheet up we've been using. Holt, AFC South. There we go. There's Earl Campbell, another one for the AFC South out of 299. Red back variation. And one auto, one relic, and the relic is Larry Fitzgerald. 115 out of 199, Arizona Cardinals, NFC West. And that'll head out to Scott Freeman. There you go, Scott. That's out of 10, Chad Hansen. You see the sort of tributes print in the back. We'll sleeve all of those parallels up at the end of the break. Get them top loaded and sent out to you too. I think that could be it, unless there's some more parallels that we're looking for. Yeah, there's Quincy Inunua, AFC East for the Jets, red back variation. And there's Len Dawson at the end, nice. These are your hits in box number one. Let's move it along to the next break. Or the next box, that is. C Shep, what's going on? By the way, uh, this break's gonna. This break takes about a solid half hour or so. If you want to visit our hockey channel, go to Jaspie's Hockey Land. Search Jaspie's Hockey Land, and then um, there you go. Search Jaspie's Hockey Land. And you can see Jason Jaspie, who's back today, and break some hockey with him. So he won't be he'll he'll be out of town next week. So if you want to get your hockey fix, get it in get it in today. We'll get it in over the next couple days. I actually don't is he working Saturday? I have no idea if he's doing the Saturday or not. We'll find we'll figure that out. I honestly don't know. Uh, there are buyback cards in this, buyback autographs. I honestly don't know if we pulled, if we pulled them or not. I don't know if anybody remembers from break, from the previous breaks. I think they're like one or two per case, something like that. I posted the video for that finest baseball. Come on, Joe. Sloppy today. It's not on. Still early in the day. I got time to warm up. Uh, so give me a second here while I upload that finest. So let's upload that finest baseball. That's the break right there. All right, next one. So that that finest is uploading. It was pulled, C Chef, just not us. Avery gets timeout for fake news. 
We want we don't want people getting people's all hopes riled up and everything. Out of two ninety nine, red back, Brandon Marshall. There's no need for lies here. One fifteen out of two ninety nine, Barry Sanders. And Rich Gannon, Flashback Fabrics, 260 out of 399. Oh, no hammer. I'm I'm a this I'm a I'm a kinder, gentler Joe now. A kinder, gentler Joe. No, no, no hammers. There's Chad Kelly. Just timeouts now. Just timing people out. It's, it's kind of hard to get rid of somebody like that. But, you know, obviously in the 80s, it was different when it happened to Cameron Wake out of 299 for the Dolphins, NFC East. And John Ross out of 99. I believe he's a bangle. I'm pretty sure because we, we saw him at the NFLPA rookie premiere. Yeah, Bengals. There you go. AFC North. Scott Freeman. Bengals. AFC North. Nice. Out of 299, Stacey Coley. Red variation. So we saw our autograph, we saw our relic. And that is that. Next box. Yeah, I'm, I'm kinder now, Arthur. Just can't end up, can't end up banning, banning people. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta save. Oh, see, Rick Hunt might get the uh, might get the timeout for more fake news. AJ Green and John Ross will be the best wide receiver tandem. Not that he's a Bengals fan, of course. Yeah, that, that that might that might get a. See, timeouts are more effective because it's it's like if you ban someone, then you never you never see them again. I don't want to ban people. That's not nice. But you can time people out and just be like, it's like it's like uh, what's that show on ESPN where you can get muted? Around the horn. It's like it's around it's like around the horn. You know? So it's like So it's nothing serious. Like banning is, has to be reserved for like serious offenses. You know? The timeout though, that's like that's like around the horn. You just you just get muted for a little bit. C Shep saying the Steelers have the best wide receiving core right now. I know, I know, Rick. I know you. I saw the LOL. C. Shep looking for a timeout with fake news. You think Brown, Bryant, Rodgers, and Juju Smith Schuster is the best wide receiving? Court? I don't know. It's pretty good, I guess. No, maybe it is pretty good. Wait, that's a good that's a good conversation. Who's up, Chris? What's going on? Chris Beck in the house. What who has the best wide receiving core? Like one through three. Like one through four. You know? Like the Raiders have a good one, Amari Cooper, a good two, Michael Crabtree, but but their three and fours are, are pretty awful. Try 
Chargers, Chargers, Axel says Chargers. Axel's going to get timed out too. Actually, if Keenan Allen could stay healthy, that would be actually a pretty pretty good... Uh, there's Liam right there, yeah. Now, Liam says they're all... Liam says all uh, Liam says all Patriots. He has to. Put him in timeout. He gets timeout too? <laughs> Liam just says Gronk. End of conversation. But like a, a, a total. A, a, the Patriots actually do kind of a good one. Out of two ninety nine, Mark Brunell. Uh, well, I suppose we could add tight ends who act more like wide receivers, like Gronk. But I don't know. Yeah, Gronk isn't exactly the healthiest, though. There's Deion Sanders for the NFC South Falcons, and your autograph is Corey Clement. Nice, Wisconsin's Corey Clement out of 199. That goes to the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Yeah, I like the Jaguars too. They look good on paper. Liam's Liam's hot take. Cooks and Brady better than Moss and Brady. Well, you didn't exactly get Randy Moss at the prime of his career. So NFC East with that one, that would be uh, Connor. There you go, Connor. <laughs> Avery's back. Yeah, Avery, you can't do that. That that that, that bends people. That bends certain people out of shape. You know what I mean? Like, you never know. People take the hobby seriously. One forty-four out of two ninety-nine. There's Canton Collections, Jerry Rice, NFC West. That relic will be for Scott Freeman. Lions is Lions are pretty good, but I don't know. <laughs> it's it's steady, it's solid. There's Jordan Leggett, but I can't, I can't say it'll top. They'll top some of the other guys. That's a that's a that's a tough ask. Forty five out of fifty. Blank back for the Cowboys, NFC East. That's Michael Irvin. But see, here's here's the thing. So much of the, so much of a receiver, and 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 that receiver's reputation is built upon the quarterback throwing to him. Correct, right? That that's 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 the thing. I mean, it's 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 it is a, it is a pure, it it is a pure uh, team sport. You know, you can have the best receiver on the planet, on your team, but it but it won't mean a darn. You know, if if you have a bad if you have a bad QB, if you have a bad offense, if you have an unbalanced offense, you know. So, saying you have you have a good wide receiving core would also suggest that that team also has a good quarterback. It'd be interesting to see everyone's opinions on. Who are the best receivers? Who are the best receivers with bad quarterbacks? You know what I mean. Who who overperforms in spite of the man throwing to him? Yeah, Packers are pretty good. Yeah, Nelson, Cobb, Adams, Bennett. True. Yeah, Packers are up there. Packers are definitely up there. Like who's that? See, I th I think that 
actually says, uh, you know, who good receivers are. Like, if you have Tom Brady throwing to you and you are, you know, and you've got Belichick running that offense, yeah, he's going to make any wide receiver look good. But who has... Josh K saying, uh, okay, Manuel Sanders, Marius Thomas in Denver. Okay, Larry Fitzgerald. There you go. That's that's a good one. Houston looks good on paper. Okay, so if if Houston can have people throw to them, have, throw to their receivers, they be they'd look pretty good too. There's out of fifty, KD Cannon. And Jared Goff. Wow. Two out of five, Jared Goff. Nice one for the Rams. NFC West, the S-Man, Scott Freeman. This guy should bounce back. There you go. Scott, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-hoo! AJ Green makes uh you know plays well in spite of Andy Dalton suggests Booney. Some a lot of people saying <laughs> New York Football Giants. Nobody likes Eli Manning. He's got two rings out of ninety nine. Uh, I I think Jared Goff deserves another shot. That 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 offense. Jeff Fisher's offense last year was particularly bad, you know. Was 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 pretty bad. So I think it was just bad play calling, bad schemes, bad everything, bad preparation, you know. So. Yeah, he's a Patriot killer, Liam. Out of two ninety nine, Carl Eller. Now you know how it feels when people bring up the uh, it's NFC North, by the way. When people bring up the Tuck Rule game, for me, <laughs> we're just talking about Demarius Thomas. There he is, classic materials, eighty-five out of two ninety-nine. But yeah, hey, well, that's what the Rams do have. Mike Coster says, hey, remember everybody, Trent Dilfer got a ring with solid defense. See, the thing is, the Rams' defense is really good. The only reason why they couldn't perform was because the offense couldn't stay on the field. If the offense can just stay on the field just for a second, at a 299 for the Bengals, AFC North, John Ross, you know, then who knows? <laughs> they got Wade Phillips coaching the defense for the Rams now. That's pretty huge. All right, last box, folks. So we'll see. Yeah, I, I mean. I don't know if it's necessarily faith in Goff, but I feel like it's too early to judge, you know. They try to give him some weapons, you know, Gurley, has got to get back on track. You know, they got uh, they got Robert Woods uh, from the Bills, and uh, he's a former USC guy, so he'll be playing back in a familiar stadium where he did pretty well. So there's that. So... So we'll see. Uh, I'm not sure what you're replying to, Chase. You're saying um, Broncos out of all they have a ring, and those other those others uh, don't. Yeah, Mike Coster, the Rams need that too. <laughs> possession receiver. <laughs> Woods is a possession receiver. Great. <laughs> That's he. Uh, they, they need someone to possess the ball. Yeah, they could use a little height on that wide receiving core. That is true.
Well, yeah, absolutely, Booney. It all starts with the offensive line. Well, I mean, the Rams have a lot of work to do before, before they get there, but before they find some success, but but I think they can't be counted out just yet. Tredavious White out of 299. And at some point, you know, like, I like the Cardinals team, but, you know, they're getting a little bit long in the tooth. So, there, I mean, there's a chance that you know, the Niners are going to take much longer than the Rams to rebuild. So, the Rams could have an outside chance of kind of battling for, like, second in that division or something like that. I do think Gurley will have a good year and bounce back. They've, they've got a new, uh, they've got a new coach. Office, offensive minded coach, I think he'll do pretty well. Jameis Winston for the NFC South. I mean, I don't think it's going to be like immediate like improvements, but I think I think Gurley should bounce back. Uh, that is out of ten out of twenty five. Caleb Brantley looking for one more relic. There it is. There's Steve Young. Nice. So you got a Jerry Rice and a Steve Young NFC West. Two fifty four out of two ninety nine. Canton collections. Nice couple of bits of relics there for the S Man. So we're looking for one more auto, and then that'll be the break. So let's see what we have. There's Brian Erlocker to 299. This might be a. I don't know what the. Seems to be far too many sepias than what they should be, but we'll set that aside. It's Tyrod Taylor out of 299 for the Bills AFC East and there's the auto it's Quincy Wilson former Gator out of 199 Quincy Wilson will go to the Colts. AFC South. That's another one for Nick Drowski. Colts AFC South. Yeah, I think the Buccaneers are going to be a pretty surprised team, Booney, and other Buccaneers fans. You're out there. I know you're there. I think C-Shep's Buccaneers guy. I think Alex Lindsay, I believe, is a Buccaneers guy. So they, they're looking pretty good. And this break is looking pretty good. We're done. There you go, folks. Quick left-right randomizer for this one. So let's go back to random.org. Let's get some new dice right here. Three and a six, nine times, left and right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There it is, left side. So all the teams on the left side will be getting these, uh, the dual people cards. That's it, folks. That was Classics number eight, Random Division number eight from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for getting in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.